Do you dream of creating 3D animated stories in the style of Pixar and Disney? This tutorial is made just for you. No expensive hardware, no Maya, 3DS Max, or Blender. Just a few simple lines of text. With cutting-edge AI tools like ChatGPT, Leonardo, and Kling, your idea can turn from a simple prompt into a video, 2D, 3D, cartoon, anime, or photorealistic. There are no limits. Here, you'll learn how to write stories and scripts with ChatGPT, design consistent characters with Leonardo, and bring them to life with Kling to create animations and videos. Finally, you'll learn editing techniques to produce a long, cohesive, and professional video. Ready? Let's start creating step by step, right now. Hi everyone, my name is Iman. This is the Iman Global YouTube channel. Welcome back to a new tutorial. Please support my YouTube channel. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Let's get started. Iman Global YouTube Channel. The very first step in creating an animation is having a good and engaging story. To help you with this, I have prepared a ready-made text template that contains everything you need for building a story. And you can find it in the description of my channel video, Iman Global. All you need to do is copy this template, customize it according to your taste and needs, and then give it to AI tools such as ChatGPT, Gemini, or Claude, so they can create a complete story for you. This template is made up of three sections. In the first section, you must specify the topic of the story and the characteristics of the main character, including details such as age, hairstyle, eye color, clothing style, and shoes. This serves two important purposes. First, the story will be built around your desired character. And second, these details will be used for generating prompts for each scene so that the character's appearance remains consistent across all scenes. The second section contains the instructions that the AI must follow to make sure the story and images are logical and of good quality. The third section is about the prompt template and arrangement for images, which will be used to generate prompts for each scene's visuals. By using this template, you will end up with a complete story along with prompts for image generation and narration text all ready for animation production. I have already edited this template in advance and defined the character's visual details within the prompt. Now, I only need to copy and paste this prompt into ChatGPT. As you can see, ChatGPT generates the entire story for us, including the necessary prompts for image creation and the ready-to-use narration text. Now it is time to generate images with these prompts. There are many options for creating images with AI such as Paclumen, Freepik, Midjourney, and others. But my choice is Leonardo. The reason is that in its free plan it provides enough credits to create images, and it is considered one of the best image generators in the world. Simply search for Leonardo AI on Google, and usually the official website appears among the first results. Once inside the Leonardo website, we click on the Launch App option in the top right corner. Then, using a Google account, we create a user account, this step is completely free. After entering the site, you will see your account menu in the top left corner as well as the logout option. A little lower, you will find the free credits given at the beginning, which are about 150 tokens as a gift. These credits are also recharged daily for free. To begin, from the left-hand menu, we click on the image option. On the Leonardo dashboard, a special prompt box is located at the top of the page. Now I return to chat GPT, copy the first image prompt, and paste it with a simple right-click into Leonardo's prompt box. In the left panel, from the preset drop-down list, I select the Phoenix 1 model, which is one of Leonardo's image generation models. Then, from the prompt enhanced drop-down list, I select off. In the preset style section, I choose 3D render. The generation mode is set to fast. Since I want to create a full YouTube video, I set the aspect ratio to 16 to 9, if your goal is content for Instagram, TikTok, or even YouTube Shorts, it is better to select the vertical ratio 916 so it is optimized for mobile viewing. I also set the image size to medium. In the image generation section, the number of images produced each time is set to 4. Then I go into the advanced settings. Here I activate the negative prompt option and type in the elements I do not want to appear in the image. Leonardo's AI will ignore them. Now all settings are ready. I click Generate. 
my request enters the processing queue, and shortly after, the images are generated, with their thumbnails displayed. I click on one of the thumbnails and review the images. Sometimes the result may not be what I want. I am not satisfied with this set, so I click generate again. The request goes back into the processing queue, and once again, new images are created very quickly. After reviewing them, I finally find an image that fits. The download button is located in the bottom right corner of the frame. I click it and download the image. I repeat the same process. I return to ChatGPT, copy the image prompt for the second scene, then go back into Leonardo, paste the prompt into the box, and click generate using the same settings as before. The request is processed, and within seconds, the new images are created. I click on a thumbnail, check the image, and since it looks fine, I download it. Before moving on to the next scene, let me tell you an interesting tip. Click on the three-dot icon in the top right corner of the images and select Copy Seed. This copies the seed number of the image. By keeping this number, the character's form will remain consistent across future images. Now we go into the Advanced Settings panel and activate the Use Fixed Seed option. Then we paste the seed number we copied earlier into the box. This ensures that the character is generated in the same style and form across all images. Always keep such details in mind when working with Leonardo AI. Now we continue the same process. I return to ChatGPT, copy the image prompt for the third scene, then go back to Leonardo and paste it into the box. Without changing the previous settings, I click Generate. The request is processed, and after a few seconds, four new images appear. I click on a thumbnail, review the images, and this time I am satisfied. I download the chosen image for the third scene. The same process must be repeated to create the images for the remaining scenes. Copy each scene's prompt from ChatGPT and paste it into Leonardo's prompt box to generate the images one by one. As you can see, the characters remain almost the same, but in each scene the background and expressions change. This way, the main character stays consistent across all images. In the end, you can create all of these images in Leonardo for free. Each day you receive 150 free tokens. And once they run out, they recharge again the following day. If this amount is not enough, you can choose one of the paid plans. As you can see, the premium plans provide more features and are not too expensive. Our work must continue, and in the third step, it is time to bring these static images to life and animate them. For this, there are several AI tools available such as Runway, Hyper, Pixverse, and Hiluo. But I decided to use Kling AI because it is both powerful and offers monthly free credits to its users. First, I search for Kling AI on Google. Usually, right after the sponsored links, the official website appears. I enter the Kling AI website. At the top right corner of the website, there is a create option. I click on it. On the new page, in the bottom right corner, there is a sign in button. For speed and convenience, I use the option to log in with my Google account and my account is created. After logging in, the amount of my credit is displayed in the bottom right corner. I click on it and see that my monthly free credit has been activated, and I can use it to create videos. A little higher, I click on the user profile and through profile setting, I have access to account settings and the logout option. Now, from the left-hand menu, I click on the video item. On the right side, there is a panel that provides access to the archive of all the images and videos we have created with Kling AI. In the center of the page, we can browse the videos in a dedicated player. In the top left corner of the page, there is a drop-down menu called AI Video Generator, which allows us to choose between different Kling AI models. In the left panel, there are three tabs, Text to Video, Image to Video, and Multi-Elements. Since our goal is to animate still images, I activate the Image to Video tab. Through this panel, we can upload JPG or PNG images, up to 10 megabytes in size and with a minimum dimension of 300 pixels. To do this, I click on the Upload icon in the center of the box, select the desired image, and upload it. Immediately after uploading, the thumbnail of the image appears in the panel. Then I move to the Prompt section and type in my ideas for animating the image. Kling will animate the picture based on these instructions. 
I enter the concept I have in mind here. There is also a motion brush option for animating specific parts of the image, but I skip it for now because it requires separate training. I also disable the sound effects option. In the negative prompt box, I can enter elements that I do not want to appear in the scene. A little further down is the settings panel. In this section, the standard mode is available in the free plan, which provides faster video generation. The professional mode offers higher visual quality, but it is only available in the premium plan. In the duration section, we can set the length of the video between 5 and 10 seconds. The 10 second duration is available only in the premium plan. In the output drop-down menu, the free version offers only one video output, while in the premium plans it is possible to select two, three, or four outputs for each process. There is also a slider for adjusting the balance between creativity and relevance, but at this stage I do not make any changes to it. Now I click on the generate option. 20 tokens are deducted from my balance, and the request enters the processing queue. After about one minute, the image is turned into an animated video and is displayed. I played the generated video. Below the video frame, there is a download button to save the video to the device for free. Keep in mind, however, that in the free account, videos have a watermark, and to remove it, you need to purchase the premium plan. To animate the next images, I repeat the same process. I delete the previous image, click the upload icon, and upload the second image. Then I clear the previous prompt and type in my new idea for animating this image in the prompt section. Once again, I click generate. Another 20 tokens are deducted from my balance, and the request is processed. After one minute, this image also turns into a short and beautiful video. If you are not satisfied with the result, do not worry at all. Test it several times and use different settings for your requests. With a little repetition and practice, you will definitely achieve an excellent video output. Continue this same process for all your images until they are all turned into living, animated videos. After the story has been created and the images have been turned into video and animation, it is time for the story to be narrated by a voiceover. For this, you have several options. You can record the story text using a professional microphone, even with your own voice. But if you do not have that possibility, there is no need to worry. There is another option, using AI-generated voices. The AI Tool 11 Labs is an excellent choice for this purpose and provides text-to-speech capability. I search for 11 Labs on Google. Usually, the official website appears in the first results. I enter the website and, in the top right corner of the page, I click on Sign Up. Creating an account is completely free, and you can log in with either your email or your Google account. I click on Sign Up with Google, select one of my Google accounts, and enter the site. After logging in, a few simple questions are asked about username, date of birth, and how I became familiar with the website, which I answer carefully. Make sure that from the left menu, the text-to-speech option is active. Now I return to ChatGPT and copy the voiceover sections. I paste this text into the text-to-speech section of the Eleven Labs website. From the right-hand panel, in the voice drop-down list, we can change the narrator's voice. Try out different voices and choose the one that best suits your story. Finally, I click on Generate Speech, and the audio file is created. Next to this button, there is also a download option so that you can save the audio file to your device. Now the story, the animations, and the narrator's voice are ready, and we enter the crucial stage of final editing. At this point, all the elements must be combined to form a full-length video and a complete animation based on the story. For this, you can use free tools such as CapCut or Canva, but I personally always complete my projects in Adobe Premiere Pro, and I recommend you learn it as well because it offers more professional features and greater flexibility. In the first step, I create a new project in Adobe Premiere Pro. I select a name for this project and specify the location where it will be saved. By clicking on the Create button, the project is made. After that, from the File menu, I create a sequence. From the presets, I select 1080 and set the dimensions of the sequence. Then I write a name for the sequence and click OK. Just like that, our sequence is ready. 
and the timeline is prepared for combining the materials. Now it is time to import the animations. In the project panel, I right-click and select Import. The browse window opens. I choose the animations and add them to the project. I select all the files and drag and drop them onto the folder icon to create a dedicated folder for them. For better organization, I rename this folder to video. Then I select all the videos and place them on the timeline. At this point, the clip mismatch warning window appears. I select keep existing settings so that the sequence settings remain unchanged. By zooming in on the timeline, we can see all the videos in the program monitor window. Next, I select all the video layers, right click on one of them, and choose scale to frame size so that the video dimensions match the sequence dimensions. Now, based on the story written by ChatGPT, I arrange the short videos one after another on the timeline so they form a continuous and coherent full-length video. Next, it is time to add the narrator's voice. Again, in the project panel, I right-click, choose import, and the browse window opens. I select the narrator's audio files. After importing, I also place all the audio files inside a folder and rename it voice. To synchronize the audio with the visuals, I use the Move tool to adjust the audio files so that the narrator's voice matches the images precisely. When everything is placed correctly, it is time to export. I click on Export, type a name for the output file, and choose the Save Location. In the Format section, I select H.264, and in the Preset section, I set the resolution to full HD. Finally, I click export, and after a few minutes, my full-length video is ready. If you are also interested in video editing with Adobe Premiere Pro, let me know in the comments. If there are many requests, I will definitely prepare more tutorials for you. With this tutorial, I have truly gone the extra mile for you. Now it is your turn to support. Do not wait any longer. Smash that like button and share this video with your friends. Subscribe and turn on the notification bell so you do not miss the next tutorial. The upcoming tutorial is going to amaze you, so stay tuned.